I wanted you to see what a beautiful morning I'm having on Puget Sound in my hot tub. My youngest daughter uh, has been asked by the University of Utah to uh, teach a beginning photography class to uh, freshmen who need a, an arts credit. And it got me thinking about, you know, like what, what should be accomplished in such a class. And that got me thinking about whether the Myers-Briggs personality types might um, predict what a person wanted from their photography. And I've been really interested for several years about the difference in art, of the art that is evocative versus art that is uh, communicative. So uh, propaganda is uh, communicative. Um, I, I think Diane Arbus' uh, photography is uh, evocative. It's, you know, nothing but people. It's just people. And they're just standing there. Um, but uh, they are such strange-looking people that, um, you know, they evoke uh, stories. You want, you want to make up stories about who these people are. You can, almost can't help it that, that just looking at them, you imagine a story okay so um if you haven't taken the myers-briggs personality typing i really recommend that you do okay so i would suggest that um an sj would probably be more interested in people and pets um then uh Uh, well, let's see. That would be maybe more an SFJ. What would be interested in people and pets. Then an, an STJ uh, yeah, might be more interested in family and structures uh, or places where they are. Uh, an NF would be interested in let's see now i i i n f p i n f j uh maybe an an n f p would be interested in uh photographs that evoke mysteries like the you know the album cover to an enya album or maybe most music albums uh evocative mysteries NFJs. Now an NTJ, or N, uh, that would be an NFP, an NFJ, uh, an NFJ. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. But I'm thinking maybe also uh, uh, mystery, evocative kinds of things. Um, an NTJ is probably going to be interested in family and structures, places they've been. Um, an NTP, an NTP, um, I, oddly, I think might be more interested in evocative uh, things. That, uh, Photographs that uh, get you thinking about a story behind the image. At any rate, um, I'd be very interested in your feedback at kennewicknate at gmail.com. Let me know what your personality type is. And let me know what kinds of photographs you find most interesting. And also then what kinds of photographs that you take. I think I've already told you the story about how I got interested in Myers-Briggs that uh, Jackie was at the pool watching kids with the other mothers and they all took the test and it said that uh, Jackie's personality type would be good teachers and good secretaries and ironically she taught secretarial skills and uh, so I thought I would take the test. and. Uh, it said that these people like me 
uh, hate routine and hate to practice and they love to get into situations where they have to innovate and so I just like one week previous to taking the test had had the family out on a 30-foot sailboat that I didn't know how to sail and <laughs> damn near capsized the thing and threw seven you know almost almost threw seven month pregnant Jackie into the cold Columbia River along with a six-year-old and an eight-year-old who was screaming at the top of their lungs as a gale uh, took us down the river at a high speed. Anyway, I have just really found that the Myers-Briggs test to be very interesting and very predictive of uh, personality types. Uh, my father and one of my sons are um, personality types are just very different from me. Very um, interested in order and I don't know, I would almost say that they are Confucius in their temperament. And so I think they, my father and my son, find me somewhat uh, annoying and difficult to understand. Uh, my father used to just scream at me in rage that I would get involved in things like community theater or the Landmark Forum instead of just buckling down and, and earning more money. So uh, I'd be very interested to hear your insights about the Myers-Briggs personality typing.